Mechanic destroys F-16 fighter jet by accident. A mechanic servicing a fighter jet at a Belgian airbase accidentally opened fire, destroying an F-16. Talk about a bad day at work. According to Scramble magazine, while the technician was working on an F-16 in the hangar of the Florence airbase, he accidentally activated the jet's six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannon and popped off a few rounds last Thursday. Unfortunately for the technician, another F-16 was sitting outside the hangar and was fueled in preparation for an afternoon sortie. The 20mm shells caused the F-16 to immediately catch fire and explode, completely destroying the aircraft. Two other F-16s were also damaged. Luckily, no one was killed, although two mechanics were treated for some hearing loss. According to The Telegraph, around 30 firefighters rushed to the scene along with other emergency crew. An investigation has been opened into the incident. How's the air up there? Airbus plane engine falls apart over the Atlantic. An Air France flight en route from Paris to Los Angeles was forced to make a slight detour when one of its engines disintegrated over the Atlantic on Saturday. The Airbus A380 was just east of Greenland carrying 496 passengers and 24 crew members when one of its engines experienced a serious failure. According to passengers, there was a loud boom and then a lot of shaking. Luckily, the fast-acting pilots quickly shut the engine down and were able to stabilize the plane in under 30 seconds. The plane flew for about an hour on three engines before arriving at Goose Bay Airport in eastern Canada. Two 777s were eventually sent from Montreal to pick up the passengers and take them the rest of the way to LA. The cause of the engine failure is still unknown and currently being investigated. Southwest plane engine too hot to handle. A Southwest flight was forced to make an emergency landing in Salt Lake City on Monday morning after its engine burst into flames. Southwest Flight 604 took off from Salt Lake on its way to LAX. Right after takeoff, witnesses on the ground said they heard an explosion and saw the engine spitting flames. That's always a good sign. Luckily, the pilots were alerted about the flaming wing. After alerting air traffic control, the pilot decided it would be in their best interest to hang a Yui back to the airport. Passengers were switched to a different aircraft and eventually made it to LAX in one piece. Southwest plane diverts after a crack appears in the window. Another week, another window issue for Southwest. A Southwest Airlines flight flying from Chicago to Newark on Wednesday morning diverted to Cleveland because of a window crack. The twin-engine Boeing 737 carrying 73 passengers took off from Chicago's Midway International Airport at 9.53 a.m. and descended to 33,000 feet over 20 minutes. According to passenger Linda Hawley, a loud noise was then heard and a large crack appeared in a window. There was no depressurization of the cabin, so oxygen masks were not deployed. The plane then diverted to Cleveland Hopkins International Airport and landed at 10.46 a.m. The aircraft has been taken out of service as investigators try and figure out the cause of the incident. Southwest hasn't been having the best of luck lately. On April 17th, Southwest Flight 1380 was forced to make an emergency landing after an engine blew apart mid-flight, killing one passenger. Southwest Airlines flight grounded for flaming wing. A Southwest flight from D-Town to St. Louis was grounded after a passenger happened to notice the wing was on fire right before takeoff. David Fedor was enjoying the back of the plane on flight 1863 last Thursday when his spider sense started tingling. He heard a loud thud, kind of like landing gear engaging, but when he looked out the window, he saw flames coming from the bottom of the wing. According to Fedor, the flight had about 80 people, but he had the rear mostly to himself. Apparently, no one else noticed the fire, so he got up from his seat and calmly alerted a flight attendant. At first, the flight attendant told him to sit down, but then she came back and saw the flames for herself. She alerted the pilots and they turned the plane back. The passengers got off and then either booked another flight or were given a refund. Southwest did acknowledge there was a fire and, in a statement, said, While there were no indications of anything abnormal, our mechanics are repairing the aircraft and the plane currently remains in maintenance. Really? No indications of anything abnormal? Bird in cockpit forces Delta flight to turn around. A Hotlanta-bound Delta flight was forced to hang a Yui after the crew found a bird flying around the cockpit. 
Before the flight, the pilot happened to see a sparrow board the plane, causing the flight to be delayed as crew and maintenance workers searched for the little feathered fellow. After a delay and an unsuccessful search attempt, the pilot decided to take off. Wouldn't you know it, shortly after the aircraft took off, the sparrow reappeared again in the cockpit, so the pilot decided to turn the plane back around. After getting back to Detroit Metro Airport, crews were finally able to grab the little guy and get him off the plane. In the end, after a considerable delay, the flight eventually made its way down to Atlanta. No word on what airline the sparrow ended up taking. United keeps sending dogs to the wrong cities. United has been on a roll when it comes to pets. United Flight 3996 from Newark to St. Louis actually had to be diverted last Thursday because the geniuses found a dog that was accidentally aboard the plane. The four-legged flyer was supposed to be flying to Akron, Ohio, but was put on the wrong flight to St. Louis. The plane then had to take an extra two-hour detour to drop the pup off in Akron to its owners. The airline's blender turned a two-hour trip into a four-hour escapade for the passengers, who were compensated for the delay, hopefully not with another for United flight. Last week wasn't the best for United. They also suffocated a lady's French bulldog puppy and sent another dog to Japan instead of Kansas. United needs to seriously consider carrying only pets from now on. <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong?